Welcome to another vlog. Today we're gonna to be doing some final little projects around the house, including getting the wallpaper up on this back wall. I'm so excited. This bathroom is almost done after this. We just have to have the handyman put in our doorknob. So we tried to do it earlier this week and you have to carve this has to be carved out. The wallpaper that we are doing is from Hookah and West and it's the Patch New York City line. And this is the Fable in Emerald. I'll have this link down below. We have all of our materials minus our wallpaper paste. So right now we're adjusting Kind of where we want the wallpaper to fall on the wall, is that, or lay on the wall? Um, right now I'm just not liking how these two rabbits are right up against each other. And the turtles are falling. Yeah. So I might... Well, the butterflies kind of can, see those three little butterflies? They could kind of break it. Oh, that, uh, I mean, I like how the butterflies look there, but I don't know how I like this little area. Right. So here, so here's, I'm trying to figure out where the repeat is. So like, here's the rabbit and the turtle, then they jump up there, then they come down here. So this one, the rabbit and turtle need to be in line with that rabbit and turtle. Okay, okay. so they need to be perfectly in so, Oh. But then that puts the birds. Well, maybe that's okay that's then, because okay. then it looks a little bit more intentional that versus how better. it looks better. Yeah. So like on this one, they've got the rabbit and the turtle, and then the rabbit and the turtle, and the rabbit and the yeah. turtle. So it's like every other one, the rabbit and the turtle like repeat between yeah. the vines. So here, again, you need the rabbit and the turtle, the vine, the rabbit and the turtle. So on the other, the third roll, it will be on this, this upper, like this triangle, whereas here it's a V. And Bumblebee, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention Bumblebee today. Hello, hello, he's just been sleeping. And here's another update too. My table is finally here. It's finally arrived. So happy with it. It's so, so beautiful. I mean, it just suits the whole house so well. Okay, so what we've done is we laid them all out, measured them. I wrote a number on the back and then an arrow pointing up for what. So we have the number for what piece this is, even though that's not super necessary because there's only four pieces in total. And then I did an arrow to show the top. So now we're gonna be putting the glue on it. Hey, the wallpaper is up. This wallpaper is just gorgeous. And just how these lights here reflect, I mean, it just looks so beautiful. I feel like these lights are really allowing it to really shine to its full potential. And I love that because the black and the green is matte, it really allows the gold to truly glisten and shine. Whereas if this was not matte, if it had a bit of a sheen to it, it wouldn't look as rich as it does. And it just really allows like this pattern to just shine. It looks so beautiful. And I just love this pattern. This is me in a wallpaper from the gold to the green to the <laughs> bunnies and the butterflies. 
oh my gosh, it just looks amazing. And paired with this color, this is Emerald Pool from Dun Edwards. I think that it's the perfect paint color. Dun Edwards also makes Victorian Greenhouse, which is a perfect match for the wallpaper, perfect match. But I like that we have this darker, it's just dark enough where you can tell we're not trying to get that perfect match like we would with Victorian Greenhouse. Another reason I just love Don Edwards is because they have these contemporary colors because this color is so contemporary yet timeless at the same time. It's really unique, um, it's gorgeous. The butterflies on here reflected with the butterfly knobs. We just have so much shine going on. So we have the metallic shine of the butterflies and then again more shine with the opal and the Paris gold. And these, um, all of the hardware in here is from Mtech. Once we get the doorknobs replaced out, they are the same French antique gold um, as this. And this is from Mtech as well. This it's so beautiful. It is my dream bathroom. Oh my gosh. I am so, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. And with these lights, I mean, these, so these are from Kitchler. I'll have them, I'll have everything in the bathroom linked down below. These lights are just so soft. They're a beauty light and they just look at the shine that it creates on the wallpaper. I mean, it perfectly highlights it. For this bathroom, I wanted it to feel like you were at a restaurant, <laughs> like where you are at a really beautiful restaurant and you go into the bathroom and it's dimly lit yet, and it has a little bit of that mood lighting almost to it and it's rich and just jewel toned and like darker and I just, I love this. I'm so happy with it, oh my gosh. I think this will be the last really cosmetic update. I need to do some paint touch-ups in the wash closet, and, which I can actually, let me show you right here. Okay, here's the wash closet. The curtain rod is trash, it turns out, and it kept falling down, and it actually created like some dents in the wall, so, that needs to be touched up and a new curtain rod needs to go in. And this is really pretty. This is the Deep Lagoon color from Dun Edwards. So when you are standing in here, I wanted this to be almost a black. And I was actually going to go with something even darker. And the um, online color PCA personal color advisor from Dun Edwards, who's an interior designer and worked with me on just really making sure that I was selecting colors that would really suit the space and I'd be happy with the end result. She, I'm so happy, suggested something a bit lighter than what I was originally going for, and I love that this is um, more of like a hunting green. And then your eye kind of goes from, and look at how cute. So this is again the French antique hardware from Entech. You can customize, um, you kind of build out, so what finish you want, and then what rosette plate back here you want. So I just went with the classic circle rosette. And then here as well, we have the French antique. So I think that this just looks so beautiful, the dark, and then it carries out here. Oh my gosh, I mean, this is just my dream bathroom. I, this is just, I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. So I'm going to eat some lunch because it's three o'clock and then I'm going to be painting. Now we are going to be painting this we are just doing another coat because it only has one coat on the bottom half. We just did threw this up there when we were still deciding about the main interior color, which is girly. These two are Fiery Flamingo and then this is Charming Cherry.
Okay, so I just finished painting this middle section. Final coat, it looks so awesome. It's the next day and I just got an order in from Savage Universal. They sent me two, one is still coming, but they sent me new seamless paper size. It's 109 inch, so it's double the size of what I have been using, which is 53, 52 inches um, for my podcast room, as well as new lights. So it arrived and I wasn't gonna continue the vlog into today, but I'm gonna get that room all set up. And my mom right now is actually hemming all of the curtains that we have. So I'll show you that too. I bought the wrong size basically of them. <laughs> um, they're too long. They're like literally two feet too long. So we are hemming them. He, or my mom is hemming them. This is what the room currently looks like. We are just going to get this sorted out so that we can set up the lights. So right now I have 53 inch paper. This is the deep yellow color on my portable backdrop stand, which is also from Savage Universal. Everything will be linked down below. And I'm going to switch it out with my double the size 109 inch paper in deep yellow. The reason why I got longer paper is because for filming, um, unless I want my camera to be super close up, like literally collarbone height up, this paper isn't wide enough. And I was using this for filming for quite a while and super close up, but I want something further out so that I can have more room on the screen for examples, text, graphics, things like that. Here are the lights that I have. We have the 2000 watt location light kit. I'm really excited to have professional light equipment. And then we have these soft boxes that attach onto the light here. I went with the larger 35 because I want the light to be really spread out and almost diffused. Whereas the 28 is for a more concentrated space. And I think that this is going to just be so awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'll have all of this stuff linked down below. Okay, so our first light is set up. <laughs> you can hear that it does have a bit of a sound. I'm 
I'm gonna leave these running on the lowest setting. They have a bit of a smell and I'm thinking that it's just the, like a plasticky almost smell. The chemicals, maybe they can kind of burn off a bit. Um, now, oh, also I have them plugged into a surge protector for both. I think that's going to be very important. And now we are going to get the last piece, which is the softbox. Okay, I have both lights now set up. I mean, I need to adjust them and throw my ring light in the middle here, but I am so excited. I mean, this just lights up the room so much. And it was really simple for me to put these together. I mean, look at this light. Talk about an upgrade. So before this, I would use just simple entry level studio box or soft boxes from Amazon, like Cowboy Studios or Limo Studios. Um, I've never had like <laughs> professional grade photography lights. So this is going to be amazing. And for video and for photography. <laughs> and now we have the paper. Oh my gosh. So what I did was I put on two layers of the diffuser. So I think I actually might end up taking the inner layer of the diffuser off, but I mean, look at this light. Wow. And once I have a true microphone set up, I, which I kind of want to upgrade and just get a Yeti microphone and have it maybe on a stand. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, this is just amazing. I'm so excited. I'm so thankful. So all of this equipment will be linked in the description box. It's all from Savage, gifted to me. So thank you so much to Savage for blessing me with this <laughs> photography studio. I'm so excited. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take the paper down, get my ring light up here, and I think I'm going to just fully set the space up. They look so nice. Wow. Okay, so my mom just hemmed all of these curtains today. So, oh my gosh, it really cha changes the space up. And we have them all hemmed right here as well. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks amazing in here. Oh my gosh, it looks so cozy. Wow. And I mean, those curtains just make such a big difference. So we put, we have four panels on this window and then the sliding glass door. That's why it looks so bunched up and full. Because um, otherwise it would have looked just like a straight up 
sheet. Look at this amazing background and with the chandeliers. And I'm gonna photograph the chandeliers now. Oh my gosh. And so I just have to like steam the curtains and then it'll be done. And then we have the couch coming in. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing. So I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed. I'm so happy with all the little things that we did over the weekend. It really finishes off the, it gives like a sense of accomplishment with the house, especially just having the wallpaper done in the bathroom. Be sure to hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when new home content comes out. You can also find me over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.